And in this video, I'm going to talk about learn from the great photographers. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to learn from great photographers. It's not easy to approach any of the photographers because they just are too busy to reply to any of our comments. Well, it's hard for us to really judge if our photo is really good or not, unless you get that positive and the correct feedback from the photographers themselves. But it's hard for us to approach any of these photographers. So the best thing that you can do is just post it on social media and then ask for the honest feedback, but no one will reply and your friends will definitely not reply to any of those, even though they might be laughing behind the scene that what kind of photo is this or they might be saying yes it's a great photo and you might get a thumbs up but i've seen these days the social media may not be the right place for you to post these kind of photos because you get a lot of likes just because you have good friends but not because your photo is really good and if those photos can be off if that photo is really good or if you can really sell those kind of photos and the best thing that you can think about is to learn from the different photographers out there. And there are so many photographers on Flickr. Even though there are so many websites like 500 Pixel where you will come to know which camera they have used and what settings they have used. But I still go back to the old days of Flickr where you can learn from great photographers. So let me tell you why you should use Flickr. Well, to be honest, you can learn photography from Flickr by looking at the Flickr metadata. So if you open any of the photos from any of the famous photographers out there, in Flickr, you can find n number of photographers out there. And there are these landscape photographers and so many photographers. Go to the photo details and see the description and the exit data or the Flickr metadata. And it will give you such a detailed explanation on not just capturing the photo or the camera model and the lens, but also the settings that have been used, provided the photographer will keep those information while editing the photo or when exporting the photo. Because I've tried this and I've removed all of those details and still it will show me some of the details without any of those details. But the metadata is something that is uh, kept as is in most of the photos and you can learn a lot from this. Say for example, if I'm searching for some landscape photo out here and if I scroll down, you can clearly see what exactly is the aperture, what exactly is the uh, shutter speed and ISO that's being used and if the flash was turned on or out and if there is a cam there is a camera detail and also the location wise. So these are the details that are provided even in 500 pixel. But what is really um, the information that I look for is this show exif, the metadata in Flickr. So here it will say what kind of image it's a, if it's a compressed or not and there are these complete details on what software was used if it's Adobe Photoshop Lightroom for Mac. So this is what they have used and also the quality and the date and time and metering mode and so many details and also it will even show the settings that you have used while editing the photo. It is not just uh, the photo or what uh, software was used but also what sliders you have used while editing the photo. So these are uh, some of the things that you can see. You can clearly see here that the circular gradient based correction, correction mask left and also the value. So these are some of the things, the feather touch and so many corrections were made on this particular image and then retouching and lot, lot, lot many things have been done in this one image. So the tint, the toning, the temperature, the saturation, there are so many things that have been updated in this. So you can see all of this information, but it's nice to go through, but then uh, unless you have the same photo, it is hard to follow the exact same settings. It is just like uh, copying the presets and um, expecting your image to look the same way as the person who has created the preset. So that is practically not possible. So, so first of all, you need to add the preset on top of the image so that you get you can see the changes and then make necessary changes to your photo to get the required results. So the same way. You cannot blindly follow the same settings, but you can. You will come to know what kind of editing is being done on an image or what kind of settings are to be used while capturing the photo. So I guess that's uh, valuable information. And, well, when it comes to presets, by the way, you can check out the card above where I have shared some of the Lightroom presets that you can use ready-made and you don't have to play around with all these settings and you can 
get some real good quality photos or uh, even there are some default settings within Lightroom that you can use and in addition there are these presets that are where I have shared the settings which you can follow and save that as a preset and use it in all the photos. That will save a lot of your time by the way. I'm coming back to Flickr and there are a lot many things that you get to learn and also follow the photographers. So the next time you travel to that particular location, go to that location, uh, search for that location here in this Flickr and you'll come to know what are the kind of photos that you can expect and in what season. Because there is this date information and you can find the season and you know what to expect in during that season. So if you think this information was useful, go ahead, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit on that bell icon. By the way, you might want to sign up to my friend zone because I'll be sharing some exclusive content only with my subscribers and also with those people who sign up. So go ahead, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit on that bell icon because I'll be sharing many more videos of this kind. Stay tuned. Cheers.